So after a very good session from uh, Dr. Kanagal sir, uh, he has elaborated so many things regarding the certification, medical legal certification. And there may be some areas in which there may be overlapping from my side. So I apologize for that. But uh, I will try to focus in this presentation over the duties of doctors in medical legal cases. So I have uh, tried to include some of the important points in this presentation because whenever we are in practice, then what are our legal duties? So what are our duties, how we have to focus on all that and how to perform that kind of the legal duties that I will try to focus in this presentation. So this is my institute in Ames, Matinda, Punjab. And uh, I will discuss this scenario. If you are working in a such kind of the institute in any tertiary center, like in medical college, in any medical college of state where the different departments are there to take care of the legal duties. But there are another scenario is also there because majority of the medical legal work or the certification work, it is done by the doctors who are posted at periphery, at PSC, CSC, district hospital and all that. So in that area, there is no separate department. There is no specific department to take care of the legal duties of a particular case. So in that scenario, if we, if we will discuss, because majority of the work is done by those centers. So in that area, the doctor has to do the medical duty as well as the legal duty. So I will try to include both. So why patient comes to hospital? So this is very simple question and having a very simple answer just for the treatment purpose. As we all know, if any patient is having any kind of problem, injury, any pain, abdomen, any poisoning, burns, or anything, then he comes for the hospital for the treatment purpose. Because commonly, commonly patients do not attend the hospital for any police or any case, other kind of the cases. So if a doctor who is there for the treatment, if he has to do only treatment for any patient, then he will be happy. This is your simple case. If you are having a URI, then he will prescribe you antibiotic, some of the other drugs, and he will be happy to treat you because he is the expert of that area. But whenever you are there in government hospitals, and if the doctor is there and he has to also perform the legal duties, associated with the cases there, then it creates the problem to the doctor. Because in this scenario, the doctor is, he may be a specialist of ENT, he may be a specialist of ophthalmy, gynae, medicine and surgery, but he is not an expert of legal. And unfortunately, if it is at the district hospital, CSC or PSC, then he has to also perform the legal duties. So in that case, he, he will face some kind of the problem. And then I will just try to highlight that what kind of duty he has to perform. So before starting, my dear friends, we will try to discuss or I will highlight on these two points. First is what is medical legal case and second is what are the duties. So two things here we have to understand that if the patients are coming in the casualty in the IP then we should be able to recognize that which case is MLC, which case is non-MLC. First thing. Second thing, if it is a case of MLC, if we are able to identify that, yes, this is a case of MLC, then what are our duties? What are our duties or a duty of a doctor which has to be performed with the treatment? Obviously, we have to do the treatment of that patient, but what extra legal duties we have to perform in that particular case. So these are the two main points. So first, I am taking what is medical legal case. So 
uh, uh, just uh, I am taking some of the case scenario, and uh, I may have, I request participants if they agree with this case scenario that whether it is a MLC or not MLC. You can write down in chat box yes or no. If it is a case of MLC, you can write down in chat box yes. If it is not a case of MLC, you can write down in chat box no. So this is the case scenario. First scenario I'm giving you that a person was going on bike and hit by a car. So it is a case of accident. Is it an MLC? You can write down in chat box. Yes, no, yes, no. There may be some of the participants which may agree that it is a case of MLC. Some may disagree also. Next scenario. Here you can see the boy was going on a bike. So this time accident happened, but not hitting by the car. He himself slipped down. So slipping of bike, is it MLC? Yes or no? Write down in chat box. Slipping of bike, or if any person is just moving on bike, hitting the divider, hitting with some tree or over a stone and fell down from the bike, got injured, whether it is MLC or not. So these kind of the things may come in hospital. Third scenario, here you can see the person is going on a two-wheeler, four-wheeler, and the cow, they are running, cows are running, and that person got injured because of this scenario. Is it a MLC, medical legal case? Yes or no? So you can write down in chat box your responses. I can see here, some are saying yes, some are saying no. Yes, Dr. Swati is saying yes, Ankit Kumar, case three, yes. Yes, Dr. Sumit Gaur, no, okay. So moving towards next scenario. One person is mo uh, moving on the road and uh, fell down in manhole. Manhole or in some um, other area, he fell down or slip down, got injured. Is it a case of MLC or not? Yes, no, yes, no. That may be the one scenario, case five scenario. A person, uh, he daily used to go over the tree for uh, picking the fruits and all that. One day he fell down and got injured. Means fall from height, fall from height in, from any tree, fall from height from any building, or any worker who is working over any building and fell down, right? So it is a case of fall from height. So whether the fall from height is close to MLC or not. Again, it's a question. So yes, no, yes, no. You can put your comments in chat box. Scenario six, all we uh, daily go to bathing and uh, we enter into bathroom. That is a normal scenario. Daily, we log to the it's a routine practice. There is nothing wrong in that. But one day, one day you slip down, one day you slip down and got injured, broke the bone. Is it a case of MLC? Injury due to slipping bathroom. So this is another case scenario. Any kind of bite, dog bite, snake bite, honeybee instinging, scorpion bite. So all kind of bite cases or injury due to any animal. Is it a case of MLC? Yes or no? So moving towards the all these scenario, I have discussed some of the case scenario with you. There may be some of the doctors, even the clinicians, they are not able to decide whether these cases are MLC or not. So they are confused. So first, we, it's our duty to identify that this case is MLC or not. If you are able to recognize that this case is a case MLC, that what extra legal duties we have to perform, that is the second step, right? So guys, what is the definition for the MLC, medical legal case? It is any case where the attending doctor, remember, attended, attending doctor, after eliciting history, examining the person, thinks that some investigation by law enforcing agencies is essential 
to establish and fix the responsibility for the case in accordance with the law of land. Means, whenever you are examining the patient, patient is coming for the treatment. Jo banda hai, old accident mein gira, he's not coming to you for this police case. He is coming to you for the treatment. He is coming to you for the injury. Jo banda fall from height wa, tree se gira hai, animal bite ne, sting bite ne kiya, he is coming to you for the treatment. He is not coming to you for any police case or anything else. Right? But after eliciting the history, after examining the person, if you are able to think that yes, according to the law of land, or according to law of that area, some kind of investigation by the police should be done in that case. Kya gaadi wale ne usse maara? To gaadi wale ki galti hai. Usko insurance milna chahiye ki nahi? Uski death hui hai ki nahi? Ya suppose I am sitting in my office. I am giving you lecture. Thik hai? Okay, this is normal phenomena. This is a routine practice for me. But suddenly a can fall down on my head. So it is. Is it natural? It is not natural. So anything which is unnatural is MLC. I am taking lecture. Routinely, I am taking lecture. So many lectures. I am going in class and all doing all that. So it's a routine practice for me. But I am going somewhere, sleeping over the floor, or danger. It is unnatural. Something. So every anything which is unnatural is MLC. Or in simple way. It is a medical case, means the patient is coming to for the treatment in the hospital, but there are legal implications with that. Or in another scenario, there may be a case which is already registered in police or in judiciary, it is running in court, and court or the investigating agencies want some medical expertise from a doctor. Then that kind of the cases, they are known as the medical legal cases. So as we have already discussed that uh, in all these case, case scenarios, the person will come to the hospital for the treatment purpose, but there are the legal implications in such cases. So I think all of uh, you are aware right now that anything which is unnatural or deviated from the natural one is MLC. Okay. All these cases, whatever I have discussed, all these are MLC cases. Now, the next question be how these MLC cases are classified or how they will represent to you in hospital. So whenever you are, if you are lucky, you are working in a hospital, government hospital. So in what manner the cases will come to you? So that may be natural or natural. All cases which are there in natural, they will be non-MLC. Like all cases of URI, all cases of pneumonia, all cases of pain, abdomen, all cases of anything like headache or vomiting, diarrhea. All these natural things will be normal. Anything unnatural, due to any accident, due to any suicide arrest, due to any homicide, or if you are not able to trace the history, suppose the patient is unconscious, is not giving any kind of history, so then all these cases are unnatural and they will be considered as a MLC. Can we move this over? Okay. So, broad categories, uh, Dr. Kanawal has uh, elaborated um, all these cases. Um, just I'm skipping all these slides. The different types of injuries cases or thermal injuries, any kind of asphyxial death, vehicular accident, any accident which is happening in factory, any accident which is occurring due to fall from height. Okay. Or any case related with the sexual assault. All these cases are MLC cases. If the patient is unknown, unconscious patient, history is not available, any kind of poisoning, intoxication, or referred case from the court or police, all these are included in MLC. So now I think uh, we are able to just, uh, probably I, um, I was able, um, till now I was able to just tell you that what are the MLC cases and how it can be recognized. Once you are able to label it or identify that this particular case is MLC. Now the problem comes that what are the extra duty? Definitely you have to, you are doctor, you are there to treat that patient. But what are the extra legal duties you have to do in that particular case? So that we will discuss. So first duty, 
whenever you are getting or uh, any MLC case, it is the first duty of attending doctor to identify that case that this is the MLC. And second duty is to register, register that case as MLC. Now, suppose you are a uh, doctor and uh, uh, doing your job in casualty or somewhere in IPD, then how a MLC, in what way a case will um, reach to you? So in first scenario, the MLC case or a case which is having the legal implication that may come with police requisition. So some police may come to you with a request letter. Looks up, can you examine this patient for the alcohol, for the case, for any sexual offense history or under custody case may be there. So the police is bringing a patient to directly to a doctor for examination. That is one scenario. In, the, in that way, a patient come to you. In indoor admitted patients, suppose uh, there are lots of the patients are admitted in the ward and you are going, you are examining, taking the history of the is patient ke saath to, three days back sexual offense hua tha, or somebody hit over um, the abdomen and now he's having the pain abdomen or some rupture of the internal organ is there. So that kind of history will give you idea about the MLC cases in indoor. In treating, uh, in treating doctor, if you are sitting in OPD, you are taking some history, you are prescribing the drugs and during the history taking, you are able to know that there is something fishy in that uh, case, then it can be delivered as an MLC. And definitely in casualty. So whatever the emergency situation, like all the scenario we have discussed, the patient will be brought to the casualty department. All these cases will come to the MLC case. Now, when the MLC case is coming to you, who will decide? <clears throat> who is having the authority to label it or register as a MLC? So remember, it is always the treating doctor. The doctor who is going to treat him first, he will be able in the situation to decide that this case will be MLC or not. Because there are conflicts. If a doctor says that this nursing staff is a nursing staff, both are doctor is a doctor. Both say that this is a forensic medicine. Forensic medicine is a doctor. They say that this is a CMO. A casualty in the better. So, who is liable to register or who is having the authority to that this case is the MLC or this is not an MLC case? Okay. So, it is always the treating doctor who is attending the first the patient. He will decide that this case is MLC or not, not the CMO. So, there are CMO who are uh, deputed there for taking care of the legal duties in most of the hospitals and in tertiary centers even though the forensic medicine departments are also doing that kind of work. So that may be the person, but it is always the treating doctor to decide. Now, once the doctor is able to identify that this is the MLC case, then second duty is to register, that this case should be registered as a MLC, okay? So registration must be done, and uh, in different scenario, registration can be done either online, in computer system, or manually. So in most of the areas as uh, India has not has gone so far that everything can be done online as we are doing in AIMS, uh, there is online registration of MLC cases are there. But in other areas, usually there is a register, MLC register is there. So what after entering or labeling that case as MLC, entry in uh, MLC register is done regarding that case. And on the OPD slip, we mentioned that kind of the MLC. Yeah, so Lal Pencil is written or it's written MLC is written after round me kardiya. So some kind of the noticeable and visible mark will be put over the front face of the that uh, patient or appointment slip or OPD slip or whatever indoor slip is there. So that is so this is the scenario in our aims uh, where the online computer generated MLC cases are taken taken out or registration is done. Now, what is the next duty? Once you are able to identify the case, MLC is there, you have registered the case. Now, the next duty of doctor is to information, to give the information about that MLC case and to whom? Kis ko deni information? At two places. One, the information to be given to the police. And second, the information to be given to the doctor if he is 
appointed in that hospital for taking care of legal duties. Remember, and that doctor will be available only at the level of tertiary center, like in AIMS or in other medical colleges or in some of the high institute where the medical legal expert or some CMOs, they are appointed for the taking care of the legal duties. Otherwise, in majority of the scenario, only one or two doctors are there. They have to do all things, treatment as, the, as well as the legal duty. So he has, in this scenario, in second scenario, he has to himself, he has to inform to himself, in that he can say, so he has to inform only to the police in that case. If you are working at tertiary level, where the forensic people or CMOs are there, then you have to inform to the CMO or forensic to take care of the legal duties. So information at two places, he or she has to give. So this is the third duty, my dear, information about MLC to police and concerning CMO. So information to the police is compulsory in MLC. There are different laws and IPCs are there. If you are not giving information or giving the false information and causing the disappearance of the evidence that may trouble you, you can invite that trouble according to the law. Now the question comes, how to inform the police? Police ko inform ka na, lekin kaise? Kaha? Kis police station mein? So these are the again problems comes and practically we should all aware regarding that thing. So information to the police that can be given in the two form, either the telephonically, verbally or in the form of written. Okay. So telephonically, whatever your nearby area, police station in which your hospital is situated, you are already having that number. You will dial that number and inform the details of that particular case to the attending police person. Your police station may ask a call attend. Karega, you will ask the name. That what is your name? Uh, Sunita Kumari, head constable, buckle number. Ye, ye, ye. You will note down that. And at that time and that date, on that date, you have given that information to this police. That thing, this whole thing will be documented in your case sheet. So again, this is the important duty of doctor to document the PI, police information. You are giving the police information, but you have to document also that you have given this information to this person at this date and this time. Then it will be proved as a evidence in court. So that was the fourth duty, the duty to document the police information which you have given. So that was the verbal, in a verbal scenario, you can give the police information, now the return. So there are uh, some of the institutes as we are also using that kind of the template for giving the police information to the police. We prepare a original and a carbon copy, send it to the police uh, chalky, which is situated in our hospital. And this police person will take the original and give receipt over the office copy. So in that way also, written police information can be given. Now, suppose one patient has admitted in your hospital and uh, for uh, you have a level at MLC. Leave against medical advice, discharge against medical advice, yeah, death away. So any changes if it is occurring in the case at any time in the hospital, again, you have to inform the police about the same. So re-information, re information to the police, if any change in the scenario of now of that MSC case is there. So that is again an important part of the police information. If the death is occurring, then issue a death certificate and hand over the body to police. So what content will be in the death certificate, you will not write the cause of death. Cause of death will be kept pending and the body will be sent to the autopsy examination. So this was the fifth duty that you have to reform the police in any if scenario is changing in case of MLC. Now, this is the information which is given to the uh, police. Now you are giving the information to the CMO, if it is there to take care of the legal duties, or to the forensic person, if it is there to take care of the legal duties of that case. But if it is not there, you have to do that kind of duty. So what? CMOs or forensic person, they will attend the case after getting the information, they will go there, they will take the consent, they will, they will prepare the medical legal report of that case. Suppose all the scenario we have discussed, 
रोड एक्सीडेंट हुआ पेशेंट आया ट्रीटमेंट के लिए आ रहा है लेकिन उसकी शरीर पे क्या चोट है वॉट काइंड ऑफ इंजरीज आ रही है उसकी इंजरी रिपोर्ट बनेगी तो दैट इंजरी रिपोर्ट विल बी प्रिपेयर बाई ए पर्टिकुलर सी एम ओ और दिक पर्सन इफ इट इज अवेलेबल इफ इट इज नॉट देयर then you 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 are the the only doctor you have have to to treat that patient as well as well prepare this MLC report also and in majority of the scenario uh, almost 90% of the health uh, centers in India they are having the single doctor who will treat as well as the uh, take care of the legal responsibility so all these different medical legal report Dr. Khanewal sir has already told you regarding the various type of medical legal reports which we have to prepare in that particular case preparation of mlc and uh, it can be done by any registered medical practitioner in haryana and punjab there are softwares are used in other states they are also using the different type of softwares like medleeper on which this medical legal report has to be prepared so what is the next duty seventh duty Uh, is to preserve the various samples for investigation so whenever you are preparing the medical legal report there is need to preserve the various samples in different type of the cases so in different type of cases different type of samples you have to preserve so again that is the important duty of the doctor and whenever you are preserving the sample remember three things preserve the sample properly seal it properly and hand over to the police to transport to forensic science lab with a letter aisa nahi ki aapne sirf sample bhej diya you have to send a letter also that what you want from the fsl why what is the content of that sample whether it is a blood whether it is a urine whether it is gastric lab whether it is something else and why you are sending what kind of report you want from the fsl side so that letter should have all these information Preserve the sample, seal it, and hand over. So, like in uh, some of the examples in poison, if it is a case of poison, you have to preserve the blood, urine, gastric lavas. If it is a case of rape or in sexual offence, that lots of the guidelines are given by the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare that these samples should be preserved and uh, hand over to the FSA. In firearm cases, if you are getting any bullet or anything, if you are not preserving any evidence. it may be punishable you may invite the troubles so preservation of sample in different type of the cases different samples may be there here are some listed and all the samples to be preserved a portion is take if it is there fetus in case of a victim and in some of the cases even the police may ask to you ki doctor sahab aap blood sample preserve kariye is case mein dna sample preserve kijiye is case mein vaginal swab in some of the suspected cases poisoning viscera and all that so they may also request you to preserve the sample in all these cases is we have to preserve the samples so what is the next duty next duty that is again a tough job duty to maintain record khanawa sir has already discussed that how much uh, or how many duration this record has to be maintained so whatever record means this mlc record you are preparing injury report any certificate any other document all these to be maintained for a particular period which is already discussed in the previous session nicely by the dr kanwal sir now the record keeping record keeping that must be at a at a central place in hospitals and whenever the copy is demanded by the investigating officer and relatives it should be provided within the meantime so it is again a difficult task to handle to store such kind of the copies and for long year uh, i am having the experience that even after the 30 years the relatives are coming to take the copy of postmortem report when the property is transferring when the death of father is there and the death of uh, father happened 30 years back because of some accident or something and now there is transfer of property dispute is there after 30 years back then they are coming ki sab hame postmortem report ki copy chahiye wo lagegi isme ye hoga wo hoga even the transfer of bank accounts so there are lots of issues so you have to keep it long and how it will be preserved is a really difficult task in government sector so msc records can be asked any time even in some of the course the 
after 10 years, 15 years, the courts are asking the uh, or your copy of uh, postmortem report or other medical legal certificate reports. So 11 duty, it is duty to attend the court. So once you have prepared the medical legal report, obviously you may be called by the court and you may be uh, you may serve this summer. Then you have to attend the court in that case. So in different types of the summons, when I was working in one of the state, uh, this was the sample copy of the summons I received and we have to attend the court. This is the summons of uh, Punjab government. So in that way, you will get a summon to attend the court on a particular date and time and you have to attend the court. So that is another important duty after doing the MLC work. So in court evidences, after getting the summon, we have to carry the case files. For the reference purpose, some of the documents may be asked by the court to for the deposition, right? So proper documentation will help you in the court if you have done that. Suppose in case of police information, you have police information de the court. You have not mentioned in your document. Court may ask the doctor, you have police information de de. Aap de de, sir. Wo ke hai, batai evidence. If you have not write down on your sheet ki is date ko, is time pe, is police constable ko, is thane mein, maine police information de. Then you will not be able to prove in court after two years or three years. So that's why the documentation of each and everything is important. In some of these states, uh, the court evidence, they have started through the video conferencing after sitting in your room with computer help and with the help of the uh, other technology, you can easily do the or attend the court evidence from your office also. So it is, now the next duty is the duty in case of death. So if we, uh, the case is admitted in a hospital, registered as MLC, death occurring, then what is the duty? So in that case, the doctor has to again inform the police and the dead body should be handed over for the police for the investigation. If they want to go for the postmortem, they can go. Otherwise, they can decide their own. Due to, to maintain cold room, this is again a big problem in forensic as well as in district hospital and all that area where the dead body is to be stored in the cold room for longer duration, right? So again, there are lots of the problems related with that and uh, duty to maintain the cold room, cleaning, hygiene, how to hand over the body, how to keep it, and uh, how to prevent the uh, exchange, exchange of the body. That is the biggest task. Uh, people are not available to do such kind of work to keeping the dead bodies in the cold room, taking out, cleaning that area, agar aapka cold room bigad ho gaya, then also you will not get a electrician or a, a, a technical person to maintain that or to rectify the problem because this is an area in which the nobody wants to go. So these kind of the problems um, are big and we are usually encountering such kind of problems. So all cases received dead or died within 24 hours Cause of death may not be given by the treating doctor. Body should be sent to postmortem or to the cold room. After that, the postmortem will be done. Police should be informed in that case. So with this, uh, I have covered. I tried to cover what were the how to identify the medical legal case. What are our duties? What are the important areas where we should focus and how to perform that duties? So thank you all and. Uh, I welcome any query if it is available.